Today we're going to talk about under eating. Diet. It's always one of the hottest topics. And though it's definitely important what you eat, following a diet or eating less isn't always the answer. And today we're going to talk about five signs that your problem might actually be under eating. Symptom number one or sign number one for me is brain fog. So when I experience brain fog, I experience things along the lines of memory issues, feeling tired or exhausted, having feeling like I'm literally in a fog and I don't have that mental clarity and I'm almost like dazed and spacey. And when I start to notice this, I start to realize that a good sign of this for me is that I'm under eating because I'm feeling like maybe I don't have the energy to go through these mental tasks. So when you eat some carbohydrates or you eat enough food, you start to feel alert and awake and like you have that power and that brain power to be able to process and do simple tasks such as having a conversation and being able to find those words. So when I start to experience the moments where I'm looking at Patrick and I'm like I can't think of that word and it's something simple like shoe <laughs> that's not really it but you get what I'm saying then I start to realize like wow I'm feeling a little dazed and spacey I'm feeling forgetful all of these thing things lead to that brain fog so then I start to evaluate my diet and just make sure that I am not in a deficiency and then I'm fueling myself the way that I should be to support not only my mental and my physical performance but my brain power as well sign number two I think we all know what hangry means but if we think about that a little bit more, it's also not just a sign that we're hungry in the moment, but maybe that we're not eating enough in general. So something to consider is actually upping your calories, making sure that you're not just feeding yourself when you're hungry in the moment, but when your mood is fluctuating, that means something. So if you're finding yourself having a harder time keeping a stable mood, something to consider is that that's food related. We know when we get past the point when we're so hungry we can't think, there's levels to that. And if we're getting maybe to that point where our mood feels like we're getting irritated sooner than we should be, maybe our spouse, our husband, our girlfriend seems to be bothering us a little bit more than normal, or our tasks are getting more frustrating than normal that maybe it's time that we need to be upping our calories a little bit, finding more of a balanced mood, avoiding the highs and lows, and regulating our calorie intake to where we know what that should be and we're working our way throughout the day to make sure that we hit that goal and we're not either fasting through a good portion of the day and then feeding ourselves completely all of those calories at night, but we're trying to do what we can to maintain a mood to where we feel even throughout the day and we're avoiding the peaks and valleys that can come with, with a moody, imbalanced way of eating. Sign or symptom number three of under eating is gonna be the quality of your sleep. Think the quality of your sleep, how can that relate to under eating? Well, if we're not eating enough during the day, then our body doesn't have enough glucose to support our active brain. So what that's gonna to lead to is wakening through the night. So you might fall asleep okay, but if you're starting to realize you're waking up two or three times a night and you're tossing and you're turning and you're not getting that good restful sleep, that could mean that you're not eating enough throughout the day to sustain a good quality sleep. So for me, I know when I'm training, it's very obvious when I start one waking up throughout the middle of the night when I was used to sleeping eight plus hours or two I wake up hungry so I literally would wake up at 3 a.m. and be like wow I think I need like a peanut butter sandwich or something that is not a good sign it's also not gonna help us recover and feel really good so sleep is a huge sign for under eating sign or symptom number four that you're not eating enough is that you're finding yourself being either injury prone or sick more often than normal what your body's telling you is that it does not have the resources to recover, whether that's your immune system or your body itself, it's giving you signs and hints that it does not have what it needs to keep up with what you need. So if you're finding yourself in the gym with more aches and pains and nags than normal, or you're getting more colds this season than you normally do, that can mean that you're needing more food to recover from the amount of activity that you're doing. Sign or symptom number five that you may be under eating is gonna be low energy or fatigue. That sounds pretty inherent or intuitive. It's like, yeah, my energy's low, maybe I should eat more, but not everybody realizes that. When I say low energy or fatigue, I'm talking simple tasks. I'm talking putting the dishes away from the dishwasher or putting your laundry away, maybe going to the grocery store. Stuff that doesn't require a ton of energy or effort, but you really just are so unmotivated that you don't wanna do it. These are really good signs and symptoms that maybe you need a little bit more energy and a little bit more fuel. You can also look at the gym. So for instance, 
ruins your performance. If you are crashing in your workouts and you're just unable to get through them and you have nothing mentally or physically, that could be a good sign that you need some more energy, more energy to get through those workouts. And that's gonna improve your performance and honestly probably improve your body composition or help you achieve those goals. So low energy and exhaustion are tied to all different things in our life, but are also really good signs that we're not fueling the way we should be or fueling enough to support our lifestyle. We hope that if you guys are experiencing any of these signs or symptoms, that it can be an indicator that maybe you need to be paying it a little bit more attention to the quality and the amount of food that you guys are eating. But that does not mean that just eating more food is gonna solve any one of these problems. What we recommend is that you guys find a baseline, figure out what the amount of calories is that you guys need to be eating and track your macros. Even if that's for a short amount of time, it's gonna give you guys an understanding of what the quality and quantity of food is that you should be eating protein, carbs, and fat, and if you, were eat, if you were hitting those numbers. I don't believe that it has to be something that you guys do for an extended period of time, but even for a week or a month, it's gonna teach you guys what a what your portion size should look like per meal and port per day to where you can eyeball those and have a good indicator of, I haven't eaten much today, or I have eaten way more than I need. But learning the amount of food that you guys should eat on a daily basis is something that everybody should have the tools to be able to do. Our point with this video is to bring up some signs and symptoms that you may be experiencing in everyday life that are super fixable and easily adjustable, meaning under eating, we can eat more. So we do want you to eat those good quality foods, but we also want you to focus on getting enough of them. As important as it is to eat well, and we are certainly proponents of cutting the things out of your diet that shouldn't be there. We far too often see people that just aren't eating enough and that's kind of the easiest way to diet. So making sure that people are actually eating enough to sustain the lifestyle that they've got, especially people who are already in the gym, is something that we see really benefit a lot of people and it's a pretty easy thing to tweak. It's, it's not stuff that you have to live with. So you don't have to live with that brain fog. I thought that was completely normal. Being forgetful, completely normal. Not sleeping through the night, completely normal. That's not all completely normal you don't have to live that way and that's really our point with this video we hope you found this informational if there's any other stuff that you have questions on when it comes to nutrition how to eat things like that drop those in the comments we'd love to bring you videos on that or if there's any other things you want to see drop those in the comments as well we love making content and if you like the channel don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe because it really helps our channel we do our best to get you guys in in the youtube comments but if you want to continue conversations like this or ask us questions we've got a facebook group that we'll put in the link below that we're trying to be active on and create a community where you guys can either tell us what you want or we can help answer questions for you guys Control of the lead and give them something to see. Believe me, don't stop me now. They don't stop me. They don't stop me.